That's our big story tonight. Protests growing over what some are calling excessive force at the hands of Glendale police officers. A Valley couple wants justice after they say Glendale officers used excessive force during a traffic stop back in 2017. Good evening, everyone. I'm Kariba Devine. And I'm Mike Gonzalez. Mark is on assignment tonight. And we have to warn you, folks, the police body cam video that we're about to show you is really hard to watch. Just minutes ago, Team 12's William Pitts was shown additional body camera video. He's following this developing story for us tonight. Will? Oh, we just got out of Glendale PD's briefing, which in all honesty was not all that transparent. We had to go through three checkpoints to get there. We had to be escorted to what they called a secure classroom and then moved to yet another room. Glendale police didn't want us recording anything that was going on inside that room. They said it was because it could be used as evidence in the court case, but they didn't mind for some reason us quoting everything they said in there. There were also four people in the back of the room. We asked if they were lawyers. We got no response to that question. Glendale PD then talked a long time about what happened when an officer was knocked out with a bag of soda cans. But the person who did that was not Johnny Wheatcraft, the man who was tased. It was his wife, and she admitted it, and she was never tased. What Glendale PD said about the video appearing to show Wheatcroft being tased in the genitals was that that's not what the video showed. That was his rear upper thigh area, as they called it. And Wheatcroft's pants were pulled down accidentally. And Glendale PD took no questions, citing the pending lawsuit. 11 times with a taser. While Johnny Wheatcroft's wife and kids were in the car watching, one of those times in Wheatcroft's genitals. According to Glendale police, cops stopped the car for suspicious activity, and Wheatcroft's attorney Mark Victor says nothing that happened after that was justified. At all times, Mr. Wheatcroft was compliant, and he did not resist arrest. Victor is suing Glendale PD over the arrest and the repeated tasing. Wheatcroft's wife, Anya Chapman, wrote a statement for her lawyer to read. And the officer's actions have torn my family apart. My children have been extremely impacted. To this day, they still have nightmares and they are scared to even leave the house. Yeah, if you're a passenger in a vehicle, you need to have your ID. But according to the ACLU of Arizona, that's not true. You only have to show your ID if you're the one getting a ticket. That's why Victor says the entire arrest never needed to happen. You want to done? Shut your mouth! I'm done f***ing around with you! But Victor also says he doesn't want this incident to paint all police in a bad light. We are very pro good police officer. We are also very anti-bad police officer. And Glendale Police said the Maricopa County Attorney's Office declined to prosecute both Wheatcroft and the officer that tased him. In fact, the only person charged in that entire incident was Anya Chapman with assault. We're live in Glendale, William Pitts, 12 News. All right, Will, thanks for that update. We appreciate it. Just minutes ago, protesters gathering outside of the Glendale Police Station upset with that video showing that man being tased 11 times. The small gathering came from all over the valley. They're demanding that the officer be fired, charged with assault, and the family be compensated. The protesters also want leaders to hold a meeting on how to prevent this from happening again.